Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part nine in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew, Labyrinth of Lies. Gregor's tablet here told us that he has something. This must be the red stitching Gregor mentioned on his tablet. That's what I was going to say, Nancy. Plutus? That's not a character in the Persephone story. Audition call sheet for the role of Plutus. Each actor will present at least one monologue for the audition. Mikhail Dimitrov will be reading Unbroken Vase as well as The Tale of Seven Coins. Grant Nagy will be reading Winged Victory. Etienne Martin will be reading The Empty Pitcher and Love Turns to Stone. Kurt Muller will be reading History's Green Jewel. Emma Portney will be reading Frozen Warrior Stone God. Kostas Bezos will be performing a selection of pieces depending on available time. Audition spots will be given on a first come first serve basis should any applicant be unable to fulfill all aspects of the actor agreement. That seems sketchy. I don't think that means what it says it means. I think that's sketchy. Okay, so... The notes on Gregor's tablet should help here. Basically said that we need to get them in alphabetical order, which... How does this work? Locked. Like it says where each... Oh, does it need to be like in a row? Um, I'm gonna go look at Gregor's tablet again. <laughs> um, hi, I'm just gonna look at your stuff even though you told me not to. The letters around the empty squares indicate which letters belong in what row or column. If I place all the letters into the squares in a continuous line alphabetically. Okay. I'm going to talk to Grigor first, though. Do you like what you found in my bag? Sorry if that was intrusive, but I'm here to keep tabs on the museum. Oh, then let me help you. The museum is on the exterior of the bag. The interior of the bag is not the museum. Museum? Not museum! You've made your point. See that I have. Did I upset you earlier? No. The show was starting to rest on my shoulders more and more. I needed to catch my breath. Why were you casting the role of Plutus? I knew I hadn't made my point. I don't recall Plutus ever being in the Persephone myth. Xenia had a sequence in mind where Demeter petitions all the gods. But it was too boring, too expensive, and did I mention too boring? Can you help me get down into the rest of the sets? Why? I'm here to help Melina. I need to be able to go everywhere. It is far too dangerous down there. But not for Thanos. Definitely for Thanos. He just doesn't listen. Hmm. What drew you to ancient Greece? Greece cultivated the thoughts and ideas that shaped the Western world, which Rome then conveniently sold door to door at the pointy end of a spear. Still, I love the gods, though. Imagine living in their shadows. So much drama took place on Olympus. I guess the Pantheon was the first theater troupe in a way. Greece certainly has a very impressive cultural history. I know. I haven't even gotten to the music or the food. You're telling me I'll probably gain a few pounds during my visit here. <laughs> Only a few? On the behalf of the people of Greece, I'm insulted. If I had a big Greek family, I'd invite you for food and arguments and singing at the end. That would be nice. Wouldn't it? I'll make it happen one day. You'll see. I ran your background check. Now why would you go and do a thing like that? It's already been done. My friends have access to some pretty powerful resources. I have some bad news to report. Should I sit down? Maybe. According to my sources, you're not who you say you are. Oh. I should probably be wearing something else then. I know your background. My question is, why did you use a false name? Not false. I changed it legally. I slipped a little, not enough, money in the envelope to keep the record sealed. If it's okay for me to say so, it seems like you had a bit of a rough time growing up. We chose to put on a Greek tragedy. 
But when your parents die young, it's Dickens or nothing. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. The hard days are over. Growing up alone had its perks. It taught me how to study people. When you don't have much power, you have to know how to read people in your life. So it was something of a survival strategy? You could say that. Each time they put me in a new home, I'd do my research. I'd listen, watch people, feel them out. Every once in a while, I'd strike gold and find a diary. Why? If I liked the family, I'd do my best to be what they wanted. You didn't want to be yourself? I didn't think I'd be okay if I did. I figured, if you're taking in a kid, there must be something you want. I'd try to be whatever or whoever was missing from their home until they realized that never works. Not a great way to grow up, but an actor couldn't ask for finer training. How did you get into acting? It's not a proud story. Are you okay telling me? For you, dear, I'd do anything. I was discovered in the costume department. Nothing embarrassing about that. Stealing a warm jacket. <laughs> Got it. It was just my luck that the director of the theater needed some extras he couldn't afford. So for my first gig, I was paid in not going to juvenile lockup. A few key words to leave off the resume. Is there a significance to the name you're using? There is. All the significance in the world. Gregor is the man who caught me stealing. He ran the theater. Is he a hero of yours? Mentor, I guess. He said I was a natural on the stage, but hopeless at life. My boy, you're the only student I've ever had to teach how to stop acting. With each show and rehearsal, he gave me a space to get to really be myself for the first time. He sounds very special. The truth might just be that he was an average man who found an unfortunate kid. To me, he was great. I can't find any records of your previous performances. People don't really consider what we do to have much artistic merit. It's more like historical reenactments. No one reviews those. Why are you making copies of the art? That's really Niobe's domain. Did you know Niobe has a history as an art forger? I did, and that's a very dramatic way of putting it. Explain the difference to me. It's the difference between cheating off a friend and robbing a bank. Still, she did commit art forgery. She hid behind her friend because she was timid. If you ask me, her so-called friend is the real criminal here, making millions while Niobe scrapes by. What are your plans after the show? One day, I'd like to open up a theater of my own. Maybe give back the gifts I was given. I think that's a nice idea. And I'd put Gregor's name on the marquee. Like I said, I'm just borrowing the name. I've been keeping it safe until I can put it where it belongs. Bye-bye. Talk to you later. Gregor's a cool guy. He's got an interesting history. Nice little complicated backstory. All right, um, let's try and figure out this box. So we need to get everything in a line, in a continuous line, in alphabetical order. And these tell us where each letter needs to go. So like here, maybe let's try B. And then uh, C. D also needs to be in this line. Um, e needs to be up here. So maybe we do C, D, E. And then maybe F, G, and H. And then maybe I down here. I, J has to go here perhaps. J, maybe K here. J, J, K, L. Um, rup, roll, raggy. Um, let's maybe try I up here instead. I, H, I, J, K, L, M, and then N. So let's try M, 
N O P Q It doesn't say where R needs to be, so I'm gonna guess R goes here and then S T R S T U V W Uh oh And then we need X U V W X So the C I think is in the wrong spot Or is the B in the wrong spot Maybe B Maybe the B goes here so then you, and then I bet the C goes here, C. So U, V, oh, but W needs to be here though. Um, A, B, C, D, U, V. No, hmm. Hmm. W, X, U, C, D. D just has to be here, so maybe I can put C here and D here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, e has to be here, though. Hmm. E, F, G, H. E has to be in this line. D has to be in this one. And C has to be over here. So I feel like this has to be D and this has to be C. Unless C were to go down here. C, U, V, W, but then we run into the problem of not being able to have X down here. And W needs to be here. What if we do C, D here? U, T, U, how do we get the V, V almost definitely has to go there, V, W, and then like the X has to be down here somewhere, so I feel like this has to be X, so then, but then how do we get A, B, C, and D in the right places, because C has to be here, I guess... No, E has to be in here too. E, F, G, H. A, B, U, V, W, X, A, B, C, D. Is there a way that I can get the V over there? A, B, C, Huh. C. D. D. B? A, B, but V, and then W, X. Like, W has to be here. Unless it's... W, X? W, X? So then it could be... A... Because B doesn't have to be... There. A, B... Maybe C... D... And then V could be here? There we go. Hmm... 
activation code. In big letters, the activation code is 72914. Okay, so these are Xenia's notes. I guess let's go ahead and read them. Note, the lift software has been updated due to safety concerns. From now on, the remote will activate the lift only when an actor has his or her full weight on the lift. This will cut down on accidental lift drops, but it will mean a coordinated sharing of the lift remote. Pinocchio will be sending additional remotes down the road, but until then, we've just got the one. If one more person messes with the fly system, I swear I will go on a rampage. I don't care if Gregor doesn't want to fix it anymore. Someone is going to. If you're holding this, you're the one who is fixing that fussy monstrosity. Note to Pinakes, don't require the actors to interact with the set during the show, okay? Acting is difficult enough. The action should be handled by the tech crew. What's going to happen if I show up to cross the river without a coin in my hand? Should I swim in that corrosive water you use? I got some of that on my hand and it burned for half a week. And let's not even talk about that cage. Do you honestly think the actors will remember the activation code? Okay, for the cage. When I can barely get them to hit their cues as is? Come on. Make sure Niobe is keeping pace with the props. We're falling behind. I don't care if no one likes the chorus gag. It stays in. Niobe can be very demanding for someone who doesn't want to show up on stage. None of the projection cues are hitting. None of the lift cues are on time. All of the action has to be manipulated on the stage during the show. We took on too much. As long as we can survive opening night, we'll be all set going forward. Note, redraft script. Need Grigor on stage long enough to let Thanos work underworld set. Note, keep Underworld set locked under the stage following the 30-minute mark. We'll end the production on the field set, dressed for night. Interesting. Okay. Um, Did that. Okay, good. Now I've sno snooped through her Can't stuff. Still have to do that. And I still need to figure out where Thanos put the lift remote. Um, interesting stuff. Okay. I guess... I'd like to take a closer look at the poster. Can I use the coin display key? Hmm. No? Didn't think so. Okay. Let's maybe go chat with Niobe. Thank you for unlocking the display for me. Why are you so interested in them? The tooling marks tell a story about how they're made. For the most part, we still don't understand the full method. Bits and pieces, but that's it. I'd love to see if I can see something, anything to add to that discussion. What do you think of Thanos? He's coarse. Maybe that's good for playing Hades. I don't think he acts. I think he was typecast. As what? A monster. Bye-bye. Goodbye. That's intense. <laughs> A monster. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Good thing the necklace is still there. <laughs> Should I maybe give Melina a call? Give her an update? How are things going? Why is Niobe making copies of the art? Not copies. Approximations. I don't follow. The concept of this whole debacle was maybe a bit too ambitious. It all came together in pieces until I was in over my head. Tell me what you mean. When the stage renovation became a reality, people started paying attention to our little museum again. Great, right? That let me attract patrons and set up loans, and bit by bit, the exhibit came together. And soon we had a world-class exhibit on our hands. Sounds great to me. It is, but it isn't. No one in all of Greece has heard of the Phidias Cultural Center. Here we are with a world-class exhibit and no eyes to enjoy it. So that's where the play comes in. Right. It was a new idea. We put the art where it belongs, right in front of the gods. Once the play is done, the audience can go see the very pieces shown on stage. But the real version, of course. That's a cool concept. It is, but then comes the problem of how to copy the art, but not copy the art. Niobe had to sign some paperwork agreeing to use only certain materials, colors, and scale. So none of the copies could be confused with the originals, right? Right. She's done a wonderful job, but we've had the owners breathing down our necks every step of the way. Every step. Never again. I'll let you go. Bye. That does sound frustrating. Hi. I found an odd list in Gregor's bag. That's where I'd keep an odd list. What's it say? It's a list of names. 
I guess that's odd. All lists are odd, come to think of it. Read me the names. Mikhail Dimitrov, Grant Nagy, Etienne Martin, Kurt Mueller, Emma Portnoy, and Kostas Bezos. We'll look into it. Cool. All right, well, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.